First half for Steph Curry. Nobody's ever hit more threes in a season than he has. He broke his own record, 57-54, Golden State with the lead over Portland. Welcome, everybody, to Studio J. Sprint Halftime Report, Ernie Johnson. We got Tracy McGrady. We got Isaiah Thomas. We got Shaquille O'Neal. This is what we do. Um, you know the scary thing about Golden State? They're down 13 with 525 to go in the first half. And now they lead by three at the half. It's like that 13-point lead was never even there for, for uh, Portland. When you shoot the three ball as well as they do, I mean, it, it, you, can, you can erase it really quick, you know. You see the previous record holders. Uh, Dennis Scott had the record for about 10 years. You're welcome, Dennis. And then <laughs> Ray Allen passed him, and now Steph Curry passing, uh, surpassing himself now, tonight. Yeah, I want to jump in on that. Uh, watching those clips, you know the guy's a great shooter. So... As one of his teammates come over and set the screen, you as a big man have to know that this guy is coming up to shoot a three. You have to be up on that screen to help your guy out defensively. As you see, the big man was sagging back, and that's an easy shot for him. He can make that all day. To stick up for the big man, you know, he's not one-dimensional. You know, we want to do our job and show, but don't forget, he got them handles. He, he got can still, that. still go around us and lay it up. But what I'm saying is when – his guy come over and set the screen. You can't be back. You have to be up on that three-point line. I, you got to protect the three-point line. I think perimeter defense in the NBA, guard perimeter defense, this is the worst I've ever seen it in basketball. And guys... Why is that? I, I don't know, but I've, I've never seen so many guys fall. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, guards now, they're, they're defending, and before you know it, you get a move and they're, they're on the floor. It used to be that, okay, there was hand-checking in the game, but... When you look at people's defensive stance right now, their balance, you don't see people down in a, in a defensive stance, really moving their feet, sliding their feet, checking. I see everybody standing, standing straight up, up trying to play defense. So consequently, perimeter defense is non-existent in the NBA right now. Who's got the, uh, the big man's attention here in the first half? You know, Bogut. You know, a lot of experts think that Golden State will have trouble if they face a team that have big guys. If he can get that up to 12 or maybe 10 rebounds a game, they definitely will not lose in the playoffs. Shaq, on that last, that last replay, if you put it back up, how many people do you see in the defensive stands on Portland's team? That's where I'm at in terms of basketball today. We're focused so much on the offensive side, but defensively, Ernie, Shaq, Tracy, we don't give it enough. Fundamental defensive drills you used to always have to do when you were growing up. Bobby Knight, hey, I, I, saw, I saw Duke play Wisconsin the other night. They got on the run. You saw two guys come out of half court, slap the, the floor. floor, and they got down <laughs> in the defensive stand. It was great. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid to get any closer to you. Uh, Clay Thompson, 13 points in the first half. He only had 13 in the last two games, T-Mac. they got to like what they see yeah, there. They, is, that's encouraging. This is the counterpart to uh, Steph Curry. When these two guys have it rolling, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough to beat them. I know uh, a lot of guys say live by the jumper, die by the jumper. When, when you're shooting 45, 50% from behind the three, it, it's tough to you beat a team. A lot, a lot of guys being the <laughs> guy, living good. guy who sits in that chair on most other nights. Uh, back with more in just a second on the Sprint Halftime Report. Three-point game out there at Oracle. The Warriors on top of the Blazers.